Hey! Hi! How you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. I've uh, tried to record this video several times over, and it always transforms into a rant with me shouting <laughs> a lot of obscenities. But now that I've calmed down and deleted those previous recordings, they were not pretty, I want to say this about the whole EA buying Respawn news. Now, the following I'm about to say, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I truly mean this. To everyone over at Respawn Entertainment, I wish you guys the absolute best. You guys are fantastic video game developers. You make great games. You have fostered a wonderful community. You guys are awesome. I wish you the absolute best, and I hope you are all well. And now I have a few words for the gaming community and their reactions to this whole situation. I also mean this from the uh, bottom of my heart. You can all go fuck yourselves. Fuck all of you who are exploiting this situation to virtue signal. The reality of the situation is Titanfall 2, despite being an absolute fantastic game, which I love dearly. It's one of my favorite video games of all time. It's one of my favorite first person shooters of all time. It was one of my favorite video games of the year 2016. I highly recommend it. I highly urge everyone to go out and buy it and play it if you have not already. But the reality of the situation is, and has been since the game came out, the gaming community has not supported Titanfall 2. Yes, the game has received critical acclaim, and most people who play it love it. Yes, several big and popular YouTubers made reviews on the game and gave it very generous scores, which all means jack shit if it doesn't translate into money. Respawn Entertainment made Titanfall 2 a game for gamers. They were incredibly generous, completely transparent and honest, and their business practices were completely fair and had great value. It was not exploitative, not overpriced, and all of their DLC, everything that you could buy outside of the base game was cosmetic only, did not affect gameplay, and was genuinely worth the money. Titanfall 2 was a great example of a AAA video game where the developers were in touch and listening to the game community. And Respawn was rewarded with praise for their goodwill but just praise. Not, you know, that really important thing to keep a business afloat and pay employees and put food on the table. Money? Despite all the praise for Titanfall 2, despite how good of a game it was, how generous it was to the consumer, how consumer friendly overall the game was, the overall gaming community did not buy and support Titanfall 2. The majority of the gaming community went back to their safe space games, the same video game franchises and series that they buy and support regularly. And that's fine. You can't force other people to play video games they don't want to play. It's their life, it's their money, it's their time. What I can't stand is this virtue signaling and the spreading of misinformation and lies. So, if you haven't heard already, which I'm sure you have, because every social justice warrior virtue signaling faggot under the sun is taking this opportunity to exploit the fact that EA has just bought Respawn Entertainment, they now own the developers, before EA was simply partnered with Respawn, EA would publish Respawn's games, but they had no direct control or influence on what Respawn did on the development end. EA did not own Respawn before, they were simply partnered with each other. EA has now bought Respawn. They now own the developer for around $450 million, which is a very, very generous offer. And after the whole debacle with EA shutting down Visceral Games, which is sad, it sucks, I know, everyone's now saying that EA is going to shut down Respawn and that they bought them just to shut them down. Yes! EA has a track record of shutting down developers. Is it likely that sometime in the future, three, maybe five years from now? Who knows, maybe even a decade from now, they'll shut down Respawn? Yes, it's likely. EA has a track record, but they're going to shut them down immediately after just buying them? Are you retarded? Have you never worked at a job in a business in your life? You think EA wanted to buy Respawn? just so they could shut them down immediately afterwards? If you honestly believe that, you have zero idea. You are completely ignorant in every way about how businesses, how companies, how industries work. But what's even more disgusting than just virtue signaling and spreading this ridiculous claim is the virtue signaling of shaming and insulting Respawn for daring to accept 
the deal from EA to accept the offer of money, as these two lovely retarded faggots, with a disgusting amount of likes on their comments, surely display, saying they have no sympathy for Respawn, that they've made a deal with the devil. You're putting down and insulting the good people at Respawn for taking the completely reasonable, completely rational, completely adult decision to accept a business deal that has saved their company. Yes, there's a likelihood that sometime in the future, EA will shut down Respawn. They have a habit of doing this. But if it wasn't for EA, you need to realize this, if it wasn't for EA buying Respawn, up until now, Respawn was gonna shut down anyway. Probably declare bankruptcy, because again, it sucks to admit this, because I love Titanfall 2, I love Respawn, but we have to accept the reality of the situation instead of being a virtue signaling like whore on the internet. Titanfall 2 did not sell well at all, despite everything, every attempt from Respawn and EA to get the gaming community to buy and support this motherfucking game. Player numbers and sales numbers never drastically increased. I was hoping that Titanfall 2 would make an epic turnaround like Rainbow Six Siege did, but that was not the case. And Titanfall 2, like, I love Rainbow Six Siege, it's a great game, but in my opinion, Titanfall 2 is a much better game in terms of business practices and in terms of, well, overall being a game than Rainbow Six Siege, and yet Titanfall 2, despite its generosity, goodwill, great business practices, being an overall great game, despite the praise from everyone who had played the game was giving it, the overall gaming community, the vast majority of the gaming community did not buy, did not support Titanfall 2, they did not support Respawn. And now, you faggots are blaming Respawn for taking EA's deal when, quite frankly, this was the only thing that was going to keep Respawn going from declaring bankruptcy. Now, everyone at Respawn Entertainment, for the foreseeable future, is financially secure. Respawn can pay all their employees, they can put food on the table for their families, thanks to EA. You have got to get out of this delusional mindset that video game publishers are malicious evil supervillains. They are just companies run by individuals. Get out of this communist collectivist bullshit perspective that everyone at these companies shares the same mindset, shares the same opinion, shares the same goals. Well, actually, they all do share one goal, um, make money to keep on surviving. This is not a fairy tale storybook world with absolute good versus absolute evil. Grow up, stop being a child, and don't you dare shame or insult Respawn for doing the completely reasonable and adult thing by taking this business deal to keep their company afloat. Cause you, the gaming community, you weren't keeping them afloat. You weren't buying Titanfall 2, you weren't supporting Titanfall 2. You'll continue to buy and support games like Overwatch, multiplayer only games with no single player campaigns and RNG microtransaction loot boxes. You'll continue to make Call of Duty the best selling video game every year, every year. Call of Duty is the best-selling video game despite their atrocious business practices. Which you all complain about, which you all virtue signal about, yet do nothing about it. You don't buy and support the games that actually respect you and give you good business practices, good offers, generous amounts of content, supporting video game developers that actually listen to the gaming community and then provide. Instead of giving your money, instead of financially supporting these companies and therefore making a significant and substantial difference in the gaming industry, creating meaningful change, you would rather virtue signal to try and get likes on your comment. All of you who are exploiting this situation are fucking pathetic. You are the problem with the games industry. You are the problem with the gaming community. You're all talk. That's all you are. You're all talk. You talk big, you insult, you put down the video game industry and the companies that work in them, the individuals that work in them, but you do nothing to create substantial meaningful change by supporting the video games and the developers and the business practices that come along with them that actually give you what you cry out for. What do the likes on your virtue signaling YouTube comment gain? How is that making the games industry better in any way whatsoever? You didn't buy Titanfall 2. You didn't support Titanfall 2. Respawn had to take the deal from EA, which you are so upset over, the only reason they took that deal is because of you. Because of the gaming community. Because you didn't support them. You didn't give them the money to keep their company afloat, so they had to go to another source. They had to accept the deal from another source because you were not 
helping them. You are not supporting them. My conscience is clear. I'm guilt free. I did everything I could to support Respawn in Titanfall 2. I pre-ordered the game, I bought the game at full price, I bought and gifted the game to friends. I have purchased every piece of cosmetic DLC that Respawn released for Titanfall 2. I have made several YouTube videos on the game urging people to go out and at least try it. It's had several free multiplayer weekends and single player demos for you to try out the game, see if you'd like it, and then buy the full version. My conscience is clear. I've actually tried to create change. I've actually tried to help and support the game industry. My conscience is clear. What have you done? You virtue signal in the comments section. All the doomsday talk about the video game industry and how it sucks, and yet what are you doing? What are you doing? You're all talk. You're all text. You're all insults. Petty, pathetic, childish insults. These companies don't give a fuck about your comments. These companies don't give a fuck about your virtue signaling. They are doing the completely logical, completely reasonable, completely rational, completely adult thing to do when you are running a massive corporation. You follow the money. Where is the money right now? Loot boxes, microtransactions, multiplayer only games. That is what the gaming community, the majority of the gaming community keeps buying, keeps putting their money into. So they are going to follow the trends that are the most successful and making money. And then you bitch and you moan and you complain, and you virtue signal in the comments, and nothing changes because all you're doing is being a childish little keyboard warrior. A social justice warrior, if you would. Respawn took EA's deal because of you. Not because of EA. Not because Respawn themselves did anything. It is because of you. It is because of the gaming community that did not support them. Money doesn't appear out of thin air. The people working over at Respawn Entertainment are not stupid. I'm sure they're well aware that they have put their company at risk of being shut down by their new owners sometime in the future. But right now, they are now financially secure, they can pay all their employees, put food on the table, not have to worry about bankruptcy, not have to worry about laying people off to keep the business afloat. If you have ever worked at a job, worked at a company, worked in a business, have any sort of knowledge about industry, then you would know that what Respawn did in taking EA's money, in accepting their offer, was completely reasonable, rational, and adult. I have no ill will against Respawn whatsoever for doing what they had to do. We should be happy for the individuals working at Respawn. They now have money. They can now be paid. Their financial futures are now secure. That's awesome! I'm happy for them! Is there absolutely the possibility that EA will shut down Respawn sometime in the future? Yes. But companies shut down other companies all the goddamn time. In the video game industry, in the movie industry, in the music industry, in the food industry. It's shitty when it happens but it's gonna keep happening. Making good products doesn't provide you immunity from being shut down. I remember this fantastic restaurant that was right next to the movie theater I would usually go to with my family and friends. The food there was fantastic and the aesthetics of the restaurant. It was a very lively and entertaining and fun place to be at. A fantastic restaurant to go to to get an excellent meal and perhaps celebrate something. Lord knows I had so many birthday dinners at that restaurant, yet despite the restaurant itself, being fantastic, having good prices, great food, a fantastic inviting look, they had to shut down. They were doing absolutely everything right, and yet they still had to be shut down. They weren't making enough money. You can do everything right, like Respawn Entertainment did with Titanfall 2. You can make an absolutely fantastic product, do everything right by the customer, but the overall customer base can screw you over and not pay your product any attention. Not pay you or your business any attention. And that's what's happened with the gaming community and Titanfall 2 and Respawn Entertainment. This is the real world, kiddos. It's time to grow up. Not everything lasts forever. Things change, people change, businesses change, the world changes. Adapt, survive, evolve, bitch. Once again, I wish Respawn Entertainment the absolute best and as for the virtue signaling faggots in the gaming community exploiting this situation, you can go fuck yourself. Grow the fuck up. And that's all I have to say on this matter. You guys know the regular gist for the end of a video. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you liked it. Share the video on social media, Twitter and Facebook. And if you want to help out and support me financially, well, there's always Patreon. Anyways, this has been a video, guys. Later.